Hello, boys and girls. Today is our last day to work with our focus letter V. And to go along with letter V, I am wearing a vest. Say that word, vest. Of course, vest begins with letter V. Vest is something you might wear over a shirt with no sleeves. Mine has the buttons, but they do not have to have buttons. Today's read aloud story, I wanted to pick another pop-up book. If you remember from last week's The Wide Mouth Frog, this one is a pig story called The Long Nosed Pig. So as I read, enjoy seeing the pictures pop up out of at you. This one written by Keith Faulkner, illustrated by Jonathan Lambert. Once again, The Long Nosed Pig, a pop-up book. Long, long ago, the very first pig in the world looked just like pigs do today, except for one thing. His pink nose was very, very long. He was quite proud of his long nose and boasted about it all the time. One day, he met a furry brown anteater in the forest. That's a fine furry nose you have, said the long-nosed pig. Too bad it isn't as long as mine. Holding up his long nose proudly, the long nosed pig trotted on. Down by the sea, he met a scaly blue swordfish. That's a fine scaly nose you have, said the long nosed pig. Too bad it isn't as long as mine. Holding up his long nose even higher, the long nosed pig trotted on. Back in the forest again, he met a feathery toucan. That's a fine, colorful nose you have, said the long-nosed pig. Too bad it isn't as long as mine. Holding up his long nose as high as he could, the long-nosed pig trotted on. The proud pig was now holding up his long pink nose so high that he couldn't see where he was going and he trotted smack right into a great big tree and turned his long pink nose into a short wrinkly pink snout. From then on, that pig never boasted again. Even today, the most you can get a pig to say is oink. And that's the end of the long nosed pig. After you complete all your assignments in their Google Classroom today for a challenge, you can write an opinion sentence of which read aloud from Mrs. Baird was your favorite. Was it today's story, The Long-Nosed Pig? Was it the true story of the three little pigs? Hooray for fish? Or maybe the very impatient caterpillar? Remember to use that word because to tell me why it was your favorite. See you next time, boys and girls.